Investing in the stock market is a popular way to grow wealth, and there are various vehicles to choose from. Two common options that investors often consider are index funds and exchange-traded funds, ETFs. Both index funds and ETFs offer exposure to a wide range of assets, making them attractive choices for those seeking diversification. In this article, we will delve deep into the world of index funds and ETFs, examining their features, advantages, disadvantages, and ultimately helping you decide which one might be better suited for your investment goals. Understanding Index Funds What is an index fund? An index fund is a type of mutual fund designed to replicate the performance of a specific market index, such as the S&P 500, Dow Jones Industrial Average, or the NASDAQ. The fund manager's primary goal is to match the index's returns as closely as possible by holding a portfolio of securities that mirrors the index's composition. Key Characteristics of Index Funds Passive Management Index funds are typically passively managed. This means that fund managers aim to replicate the index's performance rather than actively selecting individual securities. This passive approach often results in lower management fees compared to actively managed funds. Diversification Index funds offer instant diversification since they hold all or a representative sample of the index's constituents. This reduces single stock risk and spreads investments across various sectors and industries. Liquidity Investors can buy or sell index fund shares at the fund's net asset value, NAV, at the end of the trading day. This makes them suitable for long-term investors, as well as those who prefer a more hands-off approach. Dividends and Capital Gains Index funds pass on dividends and capital gains to their investors, which can be reinvested or received as income. Advantages of Index Funds Low Costs Index funds often have lower expense ratios compared to actively managed funds. These lower costs can significantly impact long-term returns. Diversification As mentioned earlier, index funds provide instant diversification, reducing the risk associated with individual stock selection. Transparency The holdings of an index fund are publicly disclosed on a regular basis, allowing investors to know exactly what assets they own. Historical performance Over the long term, many index funds have outperformed actively managed funds, especially after accounting for fees. Disadvantages of index funds Market volatility Since index funds aim to replicate market performance, they are susceptible to the ups and downs of the overall market. During market downturns, investors may experience losses. Limited flexibility, investors have little control over the composition of index funds. If they disagree with the index's constituents, they may not have the ability to exclude certain stocks. Tax consequences, index funds can generate capital gains, which may have tax implications for investors, especially if they hold the fund in a taxable account. Decoding Exchange-Traded Funds, ETFs What is an ETF? An exchange-traded fund, ETF, is a financial instrument that combines the characteristics of both stocks and mutual funds. Like index funds, ETFs are designed to track the performance of a specific index, commodity, or asset class. However, ETFs differ in how they are structured and traded. Key Characteristics of ETFs Liquidity and Intraday Trading ETFs are traded on stock exchanges throughout the trading day, just like individual stocks. This allows investors to buy or sell ETF shares at market prices at any time during market hours. Creation and Redemption ETF shares can be created or redeemed by authorized participants, which helps keep the ETF's market price close to its net asset value NAV. Diversification Like index funds, ETFs provide diversification by holding a basket of assets that replicates a particular index or theme. Tax Efficiency ETFs are known for their tax efficiency. They often have fewer capital gains distributions compared to traditional mutual funds, making them suitable for taxable accounts. Advantages of ETFs 
Intraday trading, the ability to trade ETFs throughout the day provides flexibility and liquidity for investors who want to react to market conditions quickly. Lower costs, ETFs generally have lower expense ratios, making them cost-effective investment choices. Tax efficiency, due to their unique structure, ETFs are tax-efficient, resulting in fewer capital gains distributions and potential tax savings for investors. Diverse asset classes, ETFs cover a wide range of asset classes, including stocks, bonds, commodities, and even niche markets, allowing investors to diversify their portfolios extensively. Disadvantages of ETFs Brokerage commissions, investors may incur brokerage commissions when buying and selling ETFs. While some brokerages offer commission-free trading for specific ETFs, this may not be the case for all ETFs. Bid-ask spread, ETFs can have bid-ask spreads, which is the difference between the buying and selling prices. This spread can affect the overall cost of trading. Premiums and discounts, intraday trading can lead to ETFs occasionally trading at a premium or discount to their NAV, potentially impacting returns. Complexity, ETFs can be more complex than traditional mutual funds, especially when it comes to understanding the specific index or strategy they track. Comparing Index Funds and ETFs Now that we have a clear understanding of both index funds and ETFs, it's time to compare these two investment options and determine which one might be better suited to your needs. Let's explore the key factors to consider when making this decision. 1. Costs both index funds and ETFs are known for their lower costs compared to actively managed mutual funds. However, there are subtle differences. Index funds, index funds typically have low expense ratios, making them a cost-effective choice. They may also be available without brokerage commissions, especially when investing directly with the fund provider. ETFs, ETFs often have competitive expense ratios, but investors may incur brokerage commissions when buying or selling ETF shares. Some brokerages offer commission-free ETF trading, which can offset this cost. Winner, index funds have a slight edge in terms of costs, especially for investors who can access them without brokerage commissions. 2. Liquidity and Trading Here's where ETFs have a clear advantage. Index funds, these are typically bought or sold at the end of the trading day at the fund's NAV, investors cannot react to intraday market movements. ETFs, ETFs are traded throughout the day on stock exchanges, allowing investors to buy or sell shares at market prices whenever the market is open. This intraday trading flexibility can be a significant advantage for active traders and those who want to implement specific trading strategies. Winner, ETFs provide superior liquidity and intraday trading options. 3. Diversification Both index funds and ETFs excel in providing diversification. Index funds, these funds replicate the composition of a specific index, providing broad diversification across various sectors and industries. ETFs, like index funds, ETFs also offer diversification, covering a wide range of asset classes, including stocks, bonds, commodities, and more. Winner, it's a tie in terms of diversification, as both investment options offer extensive diversification. 4. Tax Efficiency Tax efficiency is a critical consideration for many investors. Index funds, index funds can generate capital gains, which may be passed on to investors, potentially resulting in tax consequences, especially in taxable accounts. ETFs, ETFs are generally tax efficient. Their unique structure and the ability to create and redeem shares in kind help minimize capital gains distributions. Winner, ETFs are generally more tax efficient than index funds. 5. Intraday Trading the ability to trade throughout the day is a crucial factor for active investors. Index funds, these funds do not allow for intraday trading, as they are bought or sold at the end of the trading day. 
ETFs, ETFs can be bought and sold at any time during market hours, offering intraday trading flexibility. Winner, ETFs are the clear choice for investors who value intraday trading opportunities. 6. Transparency Knowing what you're investing in is important for many investors. Index funds, these funds disclose their holdings on a regular basis, providing transparency to investors. ETFs, ETFs also offer transparency, with their holdings being publicly available, allowing investors to see exactly what assets are held in the fund. Winner, both index funds and ETFs offer a high level of transparency. 7. Complexity Consider the complexity of the investment vehicle. Index funds, index funds are straightforward and easy to understand. They aim to replicate the performance of a specific index and have a long track record of success. ETFs While many ETFs are simple to comprehend, some can be quite complex, especially those tracking niche markets or employing specific strategies. Investors need to research and understand the ETF's underlying index or assets. Winner Index funds are generally simpler and more straightforward. Choosing the right investment Now that we've compared index funds and ETFs across various factors, let's discuss which one may be the better choice for different types of investors and their specific goals. Index funds are ideal for Long-term investors, if you have a buy-and-hold strategy and don't need to react to short-term market fluctuations, index funds are a solid choice. They are designed for long-term, passive investing. Cost-conscious investors, if you're looking to minimize expenses and avoid brokerage commissions, index funds may be the more cost-effective option, particularly if you can invest directly with the fund provider. Simplicity seekers, investors who prefer straightforward, easy-to-understand investment options may feel more comfortable with index funds. Tax-advantaged accounts, if you're investing in a tax-advantaged account like an IRA or 401k, the tax consequences of index funds are less of a concern, making them an attractive option for these accounts. ETFs are ideal for Active traders, if you want to take advantage of intraday trading opportunities, ETFs are the clear choice due to their liquidity and real-time trading capabilities. Tax-sensitive investors ETFs are more tax-efficient and generate fewer capital gains distributions, making them suitable for taxable accounts. Diverse Asset Allocation Investors looking for a wide range of asset classes, including stocks, bonds, commodities, and more, can easily achieve diversification through ETFs. Complex Investment Strategies for investors interested in niche markets, specific themes, or complex strategies, ETFs often offer a wide range of options to meet these needs. The best of both worlds Some investors choose to combine index funds and ETFs to create a diversified portfolio that suits their unique goals. For example, you might use index funds for your core equity and bond holdings, benefiting from their simplicity and low costs. Simultaneously, you can use ETFs to gain exposure to niche markets or specific asset classes that index funds may not cover. Conclusion Deciding between index funds and ETFs is not a one-size-fits-all decision. Your choice should depend on your investment goals, trading style, and preferences. Both investment options have their advantages and disadvantages, and understanding them is crucial to making an informed decision. Consider your time horizon, risk tolerance, trading frequency, and whether you are investing in tax-advantaged or taxable accounts. It's also essential to research specific funds and ETFs, paying attention to their expense ratios, performance history, and tax implications. Ultimately, the best approach may be a combination of both index funds and ETFs, allowing you to tailor your investment strategy to your unique needs. Diversification remains a fundamental principle of investing, and these two options can complement each other effectively. Before making any investment, it's wise to consult with a financial advisor or conduct thorough research to ensure your choice aligns with your financial goals and risk tolerance. 
Regardless of your choice, the key to successful investing lies in a well-thought-out strategy and a long-term perspective.